Um, President Marcos, I'm going to ask you a very direct question, if you don't mind, which is, if Chinese Coast Guard water cannons killed a Filipino sailor, would that cross a red line? And then can you also give us a sense of what are the actions that would trigger a request from Manila to Washington to invoke the U.S.-Philippines Mutual Defense Treaty? If a Filipino citizen is killed by a willful act, that, that is, I think, uh, very, very close to what we define as an act of war. And therefore, we will respond accordingly. And our treaty partners, I believe, also hold that same standard for uh, when the actions, with the joint action, will be uh, undertaken uh, in support of any kind, any such incident in the Philippines. Thank God, we have not yet uh, uh, gotten to the point where any of our participants, civilian or otherwise, have been killed. But uh, once we get to that point. That is certainly, we would have crossed the Rubicon, uh, certainly crossed the Rubicon. Is that a red line? Almost certainly it's going to be a red line. So what specific um, force packages are you eyeing particularly in the next coming years? And what exactly are we to expect after Horizon 3 of the AFP modernization program? The Horizon 3 uh, acquisition program is the acquisition program that the, uh, that the, the depart our Department of National Defense has just completed. Uh, then we are presently in the, in the process of finding suppliers for all the different uh, uh, requirements that we that we have to build up uh, our capabilities in the in the, uh, the armed forces of the Philippines to um, work for peace, prepare for war, and there is it is an unfortunate truth, but uh, and that is why we have. Uh, well, we have undertaken this uh, long-term, it, it has been going on for many years now, this long-term plan of uh, increasing the capabilities of our, um, of our military uh, and uh, our civilians, such as the Coast Guard uh, in, the, in the Philippines. You have helped us to set the agenda, you have provoked our thinking, you spurred us to action. That is the keynote speech that we needed. That is the keynote speech that we got. You have sung for your supper. I think it's time for you to enjoy it. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.